Good evening. I'm Tommy Bechtold. And I'm Jen Kane. Here's tonight's top story. BuzzFeed published an unverified report that Russia is blackmailing Donald Trump for hiring prostitutes for golden showers. Because the golden showers are unverified, we weren't going to make a joke about it, but we couldn't hold it in. <laughs> Donald Trump tweeted that Meryl Streep is an overrated actress. Then he called Michael Jordan a horrible basketball player and Bill Gates a broke loser. <laughs> Hollingworth, the reporter who in 1939 broke the story of the start of World War II, died Tuesday at age 105. Sadly, right before she got the chance to report the start of World War III. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Too real. After intelligence leaks, Donald Trump went on Twitter and asked, are we living in Nazi Germany? Commented Vladimir Putin. Duh. <laughs> Soon. Evil laugh. <laughs> Organizers are covering up the name Don Johns on the porta potties that will be provided at the inauguration. The organizers cited that it will make it clear that the real piece of shit is on stage. <laughs> In his farewell address, President Obama called his wife Michelle his best friend. Well, fuck you too, said Bo, his dog. <laughs> Chargers have announced that they're moving to Los Angeles, though, if it doesn't work out, they're thinking of moving back to San Diego and maybe getting a teaching degree or something. <laughs> Gotta have a fallback. Harper Collins will no longer sell Trump administration nominee Monica Crowley's 2012 book after it was found that portions were plagiarized. If you want to read it, you'll have to wait until it's re-released as Melania Trump's book. <laughs> And now, where hard news meets Hollywood, here with the entertainment news is Conan the Comedian! Ed Sheeran's two new songs set a new record on Spotify for the most streams in one day. The record was immediately broken by Donald Trump. <laughs> George Lucas has selected Los Angeles as the home of a billion dollar art museum, commented George Lucas. <laughs> to visit LA residents will just have to wait a long time in a traffic jam. Far, far away. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Misa liked that joke! <laughs> in a live-action version of Dumbo. <laughs> Only instead of an elephant, the title character will be the guy who told Will to make collateral beauty. <laughs> oh, I ain't never seen an elephant fly! <laughs> Racist! <laughs> Finally, while passing through security at LAX on Tuesday, Ben Affleck had to go through a pat-down search. Based on his movie career, TSA agents were really worried that Affleck had a bomb. <laughs> oh, snap, girlfriend! Thank you, Conan the Comedian. I will rape you two times, Tommy Bechtel! I was promised nut notes at the beginning of the show. <laughs> A woman has sued Chipotle for $2.2 billion over the alleged use of her photo in ads. Her lawyer explained that she needs the money to afford extra guacamole. <laughs> Heavy rain Sunday and Monday caused severe flooding in California. Luckily, there were more than enough shitty discarded screenplays lying around to mop it all up. <laughs> Taco Bell is going to start offering a taco that has a fried chicken shell. Not to be outdone, McDonald's announced that they may one day put chicken in their McNuggets. <laughs> a lonely monkey in Japan was discovered attempting sexual relations with a deer, leaving researchers in the area feeling shocked and confused, commented the deer, Announced 
they are embarking on their 40th anniversary tour. Com commented foreigner frontman Mick Jones. We're doing it now before Donald Trump kicks all the foreigner out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> all of the foreigner out of the country. I mean foreigner. <laughs> What band was that guy in? <laughs> Apple is going to start making its own movies and TV shows. In an effort to stay competitive, Samsung announced it will also create movies that feature more explosions. <laughs>